Hi guys and ladies. You know, it's a challenge to enjoy fried fish on a low carb diet because of the carbs on the coating. Well, I found a seasoned flour recipe for bass that I think I can make low carb. And I've got everything I need, uh, 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 except one thing, <laughs> the bass. Let's go shop for some out there. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. Let's start out with this. It's a Z-Man Lure, which was modified by my friend Don Winky Doodles, and he named it a Zichi. He's a wizard at modifying lures to make them, well, more alluring. <laughs> There's a link to his YouTube channel and all kinds of info in the notes below. Please read it. But right now, let's get shopping. <laughs> Good one. Oh yeah. Oh, I think it's too big. No, I don't think it's too big. I don't care. I'm eating it. I want to do my recipe. That's a beauty. You see the fish over 12 inches, the biologists want me to return to the water. They say that's best for the lake and the overall health of the fish. But the littler ones under 12 should be called out over 11 and a half. Perfect. There's the bass. Not bad. Oh. Yes, it's very small, and I don't care. This is the size we need to remove from the lake. Oh, that's good for the recipe. I'll have a link to how Don made these lures. But you see, it's got like a beard, an orange beard. He attached that orange beard, and that helps the lure considerably. Check out his video in the notes. Something was going on over there. Oh, <laughs> small, but a perfect eater that we need to call. There was a lot of activity over there. Whoa! Oh, right by the house. I'm really close to the house here. And matter of fact, I'm right next to the boathouse. <laughs> Look how close I am to the boathouse. All right, the Zichi caught me four expendable, cullable fish. We need to get this guy out. He's under 12 inches, I think. You may wonder why I'm using a bait casting rod and reel for such a small finesse bait. Well, the hook on it is quite large. It's got a wide gap. And to penetrate, I need a sturdier uh, rig. My little ultralight uh, spinning will never do the job. What in the world is this? The bluegill, but it's so big! Goodness. Wow. <laughs> You're not supposed to catch bluegill on this lure or these hooks. It's eight and two thirds inches. I'm keeping them. I got one. Oh, it's a nice one. Edible, I think. <sighs> My Zichi paid off. <laughs> Thank you, Don. Welcome aboard the SS Lulu Bell. 12 inches exactly. Acrobatic fish. 
Oh, little guy, little guy. Very acrobatic. What a day of calling. Well, I didn't catch anything huge, but I got a bunch of bass, plenty for our recipe, and that's all thanks to Don Winky Doodle ZT Lures. Now let's get back in the house and fillet our bad bass buddies, and tomorrow we'll make fried bass in seasoned flour. It's low carb. Here it is tomorrow. We had a successful day of bass fishing thanks to Don's ZT lure, but I know I caught six bass, yet there were only five in the basket, and just like the week before, one must have escaped. But no worries, I still have a pound and a quarter of, look at this, these nice little bass fillets, and that's plenty for our fried bass in seasoned flour. So let's get started by making a creamy egg wash for our buddies. Here I've got a cup of heavy cream, and to that I'm going to make it milkier by adding about four ounces of water. In this plastic bowl, I'm going to break a couple of eggs and whisk them up. Let's pour our milky mixture in there. And now let's try to get our fish fillets in there. I'm going to put these in the fridge for a little while and get on with our seasoned flour. Well, at the heart of this recipe is all-purpose flour. Ah, uh, uh, you know me. This is low-carb all-purpose flour. It has only one-twelfth the carbs of regular flour, and I poured off a cup of it into this Ziploc bag. To our cup of flour, I'm adding a tablespoon of salt and a half tablespoon of pepper. Now going in is a half tablespoon of seasoned salt. Now I'm putting in a half tablespoon of celery seed. Now let's add a tablespoon of mustard powder and two tablespoons of paprika. Here's a tablespoon each of garlic powder and onion powder. Now it's a half teaspoon of ginger, a half teaspoon of thyme, half teaspoon of basil, a half teaspoon of oregano, only 14 more ingredients to go. Now to mix this nicely, we really should blow some air in the bag. Now shake, shake, shake. In my big trusty skillet, I'm gonna put a half a stick of butter and about four ounces, same amount of peanut oil. Let's heat it up. It's back to our fish. Let's drain it. Let's try dumping these fillets into our bag of flour. I blew some more air in the bag. Now I'm just gonna shake these up and put them in a plate. Our butter is brown. I think it's time to start frying. I'm gonna go two minutes on each side. Two minutes. Let's see if I could do them in one batch. I'm gonna flip. They get quite brown. It's been two more minutes. Let's get them off and on a plate. They came out quite brown, but they smell so good. I'm gonna put them in the oven and just keep them warm and get onto a little side dish. I'm gonna serve our fish with herbed rice. <laughs> Not just ordinary rice, look. Cauliflower rice. This is so easy. It's frozen. You just put it in the microwave for five minutes and out comes herbed fake rice. While the fish is keeping warm in the oven, I have to tell you all the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic Miss Lulu Cheeks is on her way over for dinner with me. Uh, we've been seeing each other though for over 50 years and I think I hit on why she's never expressed a desire to marry me. She perceives me as poor. Well, poor I may be, but I need to dissuade her of that idea. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I'm delighted to have back with me again the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Chasen. Thank you so much for dining with me at my uh, buggy bungled bungalow. <clears throat> and you had a chance to devour my phony rice and my fried bass in low-carb seasoned flour. And I'd love to hear your thoughts of it. Well, they were both very good. They made a good pair. The, the, the uh, fish was nicely seasoned and it was, you know, delicious. I oh, liked the, the, the coating and the... Uh, Car the uh, cauliflower was very tasty. Thank you. I like the, the fish, too. It had a nice uh, mm -hmm. flavor to yes, it. Yes, it did. It was dark, though. <laughs> well, that's okay. It wasn't burned. No, no. You, you know, Miss Cheeks? Oh, I, I mean Lulu. <laughs> uh, I'm getting pretty old, and when my time comes, do you know who will take my apartments along the lakefront? Or who will take my riverfront office buildings? Or how about my condos in the Heights? Who will take those? <laughs> there you go again, bragging about your paper route. Mm. Well, um, can I have a hug? Okay.